welcome to To Read or Not To Read, Grannies of Steel edition. I have picked out some excellent books that feature powerful, wise, and sassy grandmas. I've got picture books, I've got chapter books, and I've also got a graphic novel. Let's begin. The Wednesday Surprise by Eve Bunting and Donald Carrick. Now this one is terrific. It's a very sweet story about a grandmother and her granddaughter reading together, preparing a birthday surprise. I have cried every single time that I have read it. It is a good cry though. Nothing but good things are happening in this book. Um, I will not spoil the surprise and tell you what it is, but I will tell you that this grandma is very kind and determined. The Ocean Calls, A Henyo Mermaid Story by Tina Cho and Jess Snow. A Henyo is a Korean free diver, someone who's able to dive deep in the ocean without air tanks to retrieve treasures like abalone. Korean women have been doing this for centuries and in the story, a young girl goes out with her grandma on one of her dives. The little girl is frightened of the sea at first, but with the support of her grandma and the community of other divers, she is able to find her confidence. There are even blurbs in the back from real life henyos. The illustrations are beautiful and I really love how patient the grandmother is with her granddaughter's fears. And now I'd like to talk about one of the greats, the Baba Yaga. The Baba Yaga is a mythical grandma figure that rides around in a flying mortar and pestle. If that is not rad enough for you, she lives in a house on enormous chicken feet that can walk around on its own. Is she evil? Is she good? It depends which book you're reading. Babushka Baba Yaga by Patricia Polacco. In this tale, the Baba Yaga is a good figure and a lonely one. She longs for a grandchild to love and raise. So she disguises herself as a human grandmother and befriends a single mother and her young son. She cares for him as if he was her own. Until one day, the other neighborhood babushkas start telling stories unknowingly of the horrible Baba Yaga and how she eats children. What happens next? You will have to read the book to find out. Side note, Patricia Polacco has written tons of incredible stories about amazing grandmas. I'm gonna run through them real quick. Chicken Sunday, kids paint eggs, eat chicken together with awesome grandma. Poles in the sky, girl loses amazing grandma, girl gains amazing grandma. Thunder cake, girl is afraid of storm, grandma teaches her bravery and how to bake a cake. Cake recipe in the back, also adorable goats. Anyway, back to the Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga's assistant by Marika Makula and Emily Carroll. This one is the graphic novel. You get two incredible grannies in this story, one human, one non-human, one kind, and one evil. A young girl, Masha, is struggling after the death of her mother. She is mostly raised by her very kind human grandmother and also ends up working as an assistant for the dreaded Baba Yaga. And she has to go through several tests set by the witch. I thought the illustrations were colorful and creepy. It was a short read and a fun one. A Long Way from Chicago by Richard Peck. The main character, Joey, and his sister spend a series of summers with their grandma in Illinois in the years surrounding the Great Depression. But she is no ordinary grandma, so buckle up. In the very first chapter, there are shenanigans with a dead body, a shotgun, and a terrified cat. This quote describes her best. Grandma saved herself a lot of time by not being the kind of person that you questioned. All of Grandma Dowdle's adventures center on helping a person in need or taking a cruel person down a peg or sometimes deliciously both. Five stars would recommend. The Witches by Roald Dahl. The narrator's grandmother gives him some advice that every young boy wants to hear you don't actually have to wash that often. She also takes him seriously when he learns of a vast conspiracy by witches to rid the entire country of England of children. She is his rock supporting him even when he gets turned into a mouse. Now the whole child elimination agenda of the witches is kind of dark, but 
some kids like a slightly ghastly story. So if you know that kid, recommend this book. If you are that kid, you should definitely read it. If you are looking for longer books about grannies, be sure to check out another video we have created called Unstoppable Grandmas, where we recommend some of the books in our adult collection.